My own brother had robbed a bank while pretending to be me, and I was now a wanted man. Just then there was a loud knock on the door. Police, open up. I opened the door and was met with a swarm of policemen with their weapons drawn and pointed at me. Andrew, you're under arrest for burglary. You won't be seeing daylight for a very long time. No, I swear it wasn't me. It was my evil twin brother. Yeah, right. We've heard that one before. Nice try. Now come with us. My name is Andrew, and I'm a 26-year-old teacher. I love teaching. It's the best way I can give back to future generations. And after all, the world needs good teachers. Anyways, I live a very quiet life in a small town. I don't go out much, and I spend my nights playing chess most of the time. So you can imagine my surprise when I was abruptly arrested for a bank robbery, a crime I did not commit. It didn't take long to figure out what had really happened, and I'm going to explain everything that led up to my evil twin brother, almost causing me to rot in prison. Growing up, my twin brother Kyle was always the favorite. Even as a toddler, he would throw tantrums and scream and cry when he wanted something. But instead of reprimanding him, my parents would just give him what he wanted. One day when we were both 13, we were all sitting down for a family dinner when Kylie said he wanted to make an announcement. Go ahead, son. Tell us what's on your mind. What could this possibly be about? Shut up, Andrew. You're not allowed to speak at the dinner table. Only Kyle is. This is why Kyle is our favorite. He would never act this way. Go ahead, Kyle. Ignore your brother and tell us your announcement. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I was arrested earlier for shoplifting and I have to go to court and will need a ride. Okay, that's no problem, son. I will drive you to court, then we will go get ice cream after. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard that my parents were not going to punish Kyle for shoplifting. He could do no wrong in their eyes, and I was just going to have to deal with it. Of course, this behavior only got worse as Kyle was not learning right from wrong because of bad parenting. Also, things continuously got worse as Kyle began to realize he was the favorite and started bullying me because of it. Hey, Andrew, guess what? What? Mom and dad love me so much more than you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Tomorrow we are going on a vacation to the beach without you. You're mean. I hate being your twin. One day you'll get what's coming to you. Nobody can act this way and get away with it. Yeah, right. I'll never get in trouble. Earlier today I was robbing the elderly and nobody caught me. Tonight, I plan on stealing kids' bikes and reselling them. I love crime. It was clear there was no steering Kyle in the right direction. He was a lost cause. As I grew up, I distanced myself from my toxic family as much as possible and worked hard in school and eventually graduated with a degree in education. My parents didn't even come to see me get my diploma because they were too busy taking Kyle on a shopping spree. Kyle had decided not to go to college and instead committed to a life of crime. His crimes were slowly starting to grow, and one day he even called me and confessed to robbing a liquor store, which was his biggest crime yet. I tried one last time to get him to change his ways, but he just called me a loser and hung up. I decided I should go talk to my parents after years of not seeing them to try and fix this situation. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Why are you even here? We only love Kyle. Hasn't that been clear to you? Yes, you've made that very clear. I wanted to talk to you about Kyle. I'm worried about him. He's a horrible person, but he is my twin brother, and I still care about him. I think we should send him to rehab and get him off of his crime spree. Andrew, Kyle is fine. All he needs is our love and support, and that's what we're going to give him. Now get out of my house, you little weasel. That was the last time I ever spoke to my parents. They had gone too far. The next day, I saw in the newspaper that there was a huge bank robbery in my hometown and that they were searching for the perpetrator. I almost passed out when they showed a picture from the security cameras and it was my twin brother wearing an outfit that I would wear. I looked closer and realized that he was wearing a name tag that said, Andrew, and it was clear to me what had happened. My own brother had robbed a bank while pretending to be me and I was now a wanted man. Just then there was a loud knock on the door. Police, open up. I opened the door and was met with a swarm of policemen with their weapons drawn and pointed at me. Andrew, you're under arrest for burglary. You won't be seeing daylight for a very long time. No, I swear it wasn't me. It was my evil twin brother. 
Yeah, right. We've heard that one before. Nice try. Now come with us. I was thrown in jail for a crime I didn't even commit, and I didn't know what I was going to do. I tried to explain to everyone what was going on, but nobody listened. I knew there was only one way to set things right. I was going to have to catch my brother myself. This was going to be exceptionally hard considering I was in prison, but after thinking all night I finally had a plan. I demanded that I receive my one phone call and asked for my call to be monitored by an officer. Once I knew the officer was listening in to my call, I dialed my brother's phone number. I knew I would be able to get my brother to confess, just like he had in the past. Hello? Andrew? Yep, it's me. I just saw my face on the news. They are saying that I am wanted for a bank robbery. Be honest with me though, you're the one that actually robbed that bank and then you set me up, didn't you? Yep, you're 100% correct. I'll admit it. I set you up. It was just too easy because we look exactly alike. I knew you would get blamed instead of me. So you were the one who robbed the bank? Yes. I already said that it was me. Are you hard of hearing or something? And where are you now? I'm hiding out in mom and dad's basement until the heat dies down. I have millions of dollars now, and I'm going to get to spend it while you rot in prison after they catch you. Ha ha. I win and you lose. At last, the truth was revealed. My plan had worked, and my brother was finally going to face justice. I was quickly released from prison, and I showed the police to my parents' house. The police quickly rushed inside and apprehended my brother. I got to witness the whole thing as my brother was hauled away in handcuffs. But it got even better when I saw my parents being arrested for helping aid a known felon. They were going to get at least two years in prison because they were helping my brother hide out in their basement. Well, 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 look how things played out. Honey, I'm sorry, I loved you all along. We should have treated you better. Well, that's easy to say now, isn't it? Your mom is right, son. You were the good one all along. Kyle has got us arrested. He's dead to us now. We love you. Sorry, but I'm not interested in having any kind of relationship with you. Have fun rotting in prison. Just then, a police officer approached me and told me he had great news. The millions of dollars my brother had stolen was going to be rewarded to me instead. Apparently, it was a gift since I had helped crack the case and I was now a millionaire. The look on my parents' face when they realized this was happening was priceless. My brother heard about it too, and he immediately started crying like a baby. Son, now that you're rich, surely you'll bail us out, right? Absolutely not. Now get out of my sight. They were finally hauled off to jail, and I went with them just to see it happen. Afterwards, I began spending my millions on different things. For one, I was able to retire from teaching and immediately took a vacation to the best beach in the world. I bought fancy cars and even donated $100,000 to charity. Then I reported the police officers who arrested me without doing any investigation. One even punched me that day and gave me black eye, and they were fired because they didn't do their job properly and didn't even listen to me. I saw in the newspaper a couple weeks later that my parents had been sentenced to two years in prison for hiding a criminal. As for my brother, well, when they heard how horrible he had been to me all my life and how he had set me up, they gave him the maximum sentence possible, 20 years. Some people think I should have bailed my family out and taken care of them, but I don't think so. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.